Yeah, so not many of us will be making that 600 mile drive or so to watch right there. So you can watch it right here on Channel 13, probably your best bet, right? Our Matt McCutcheon here with the impact of watching the game. I, I remember when it used to be seemingly, it seemed like it was so much earlier on a Sunday. Now it seems yeah. so late. It just kind of keeps going late and late. Yeah. You're going to be up all night. You know, the two of you will be here for a long night. I was surprised 110 million Americans will watch the game and then 50 million all around the world. So it is a pretty big affair, right? Well, we are a bit more reserved when it comes to how much we're willing to spend on food at a stadium, but many of us will watch the game with friends and family at a pitch-in, right? Turns out that's where it gets fun and a bit dangerous. Check this out. The Super Bowl is the second largest food consumption day right behind Thanksgiving. The chips, the dip, the pizzas, desserts, they all take a toll. And just after so many of us have started our new me, new year diet, right? Chicken wings turns out will once again be the big star of the party with 1.3 billion wings eaten on Sunday. And check this out. It is enough not to circle the globe once or twice, but three times that many chicken wings will be consumed. And as you can imagine, you're probably not going to feel too good the next day. That's why sales of antacids will increase 20% <laughs> the Monday after the Super Bowl. Julia was right just 30 minutes ago. Amazing. She had that Little guess. Gun, baby. So everyone will be going for the, the Pepto, <laughs> the uh, mag milk and magnesium, all of those uh, good, fun things. Well, so. I'm sure I've learned that through experience. I mean, it's not, <laughs> yeah. you, know, that's, you so, eat a lot.